Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to Yara's Clips. Chakras are not something where you know, null khola, tap water close. No, they are always open. Either they are functioning or non-functioning. Okay. Um, in order to understand this more, let's break down what a chakra is in okay. the first place. <laughs> um, see, I see people talking about chakra that oh, my chakra is here, my chakra is here. Oh, I can feel the chakra. Let's be very honest. It is not in our physical body. We have three bodies: the physical body, the astral body, and the causal body. When I will die, I will leave this physical body behind, but the astral and the causal body will be taken ahead. And that astral and or causal body, at a very layman language, is made up of nadis. Now, different texts, Hatha Pradipika, Garan Samata, they talk about there are seventy two thousand nadis in the body, and you know they are finer than your hair. Like I can pluck your hair, it's good ten times if I cut it. That is the size, and through which that prana flows, that energy that we are working to take it up. What is a nadi? Bar? A nadi is a network of astral, not nerves or capillaries, but they are very fine. They are energy cords. and when these energy cords meet at certain point there's a junction and that junction is chakra so people talk about seven chakras but there are thousands of chakras you know marma therapy you know bruce lee yeah bruce lee used to yeah bruce lee used to kill people just by touch like very close to your touch now there is a marma point here if i also touch it properly you will die what is he touching that is blocking the flow of prana there they are great um, i can't recollect the name i'm sorry but there are great rishis who have operated themselves or like ramana maharishi and sex for feeding on him he had no consciousness he was completely control of his prana so what we think is that the body is everything but when you do your sadhana you tap into such other bodies which where chakras are operating now why are chakras are blocked because of a lifestyle of your thoughts lifestyle negativity the more spiritual practices the more clearance the more clearance the more journey unrolls ahead so when these nadis come at a junction this chakra is formed so there are 108 vital chakras if that is healthy like there is a chakra point right below my uh, ankle if i do if you have asthma if i press it properly free agar galat press ho gaya then <laughs> you will have a stroke okay so these points are very important but there are seven major chakras that is what people talk about in fact there are more but we talk about the seven and you can never say that the chakra is closed because if the chakra is closed you won't be able to operate it is either functioning or non functioning and people like us it is non functioning and a yogi it is functioning like uh, you might be knowing about devra baba he was 700 years old he left his body at will through the crown now people say kuch bhi baat kar raha hai nonsense but there are the problem is something that we don't know we can't accept hmm only with my experience i can talk but a yogi is full of experience he doesn't read books he is not interested he has experienced life that is what we are lacking what was the sentence you said that everyone's chakras are open just not activated yeah so whenever i read on google and people talk about people come to us oh my chakra is closed it is impossible that your chakra is closed you know how chakras work these rishis yantra yantras you see beautiful chakras with petals and you know the deity sitting in between people do sadhana on that now i've heard people doing sound healing chanting mantras but only under the presence it will actually open that means in layman's language so that we can understand our chakra might be 30% open i can't say it is closed if it is closed then khatam i'm a vegetable 30% operating now when i do sadhana 60% 100% now when that prana goes in that shushumna through that chakra i have not mentioned about shushumna as we'll come there through the shushumna that one petal starts unfolding that means usme energy ja raha so every petal has a beeja mantra so lam vam ham ham is the beeja mantra for certain you might be knowing yeah every chakra has a mantra when you chant it properly you're energizing it now when that petal unfolds all your past spiritual experiences all your sanskaras all your past birth they start coming into fruition what does that mean that means the fact that you're doing this there is some past all the contacts that you're meeting even it is said in the upanishad an eye contact is an exchange of karma so you and me sitting is also our karma so yeah. that all that knowledge how it works starts coming to you so every deity is giving you knowledge every deity is giving you support and that deity is taking you to formless for example if your third eye chakra opens it is your jeevan mukta one of the openness of the saying jeevan mukta that means your karma is over you are operating and you can leave that and there are many great rishis who had experience of tantra and awakening of kundalini 
but very no one has written the journey from third idol crown no one that means you me everyone here we might be having similar experiences till third eye but from third eye till the crown the journey is unique for every individual this is from form to formless and that is so unique that you can't even that is the reason if you meet a great saint you ask them about enlightenment they will laugh because they don't exist in that state because they have experienced something which you can't comprehend not even in sanskrit it is so it's something very unique okay. and if i die in between doing my sadhana because it comes in bhagavad gita also whatever sadhana suppose now you have opened your heart chakra you are having some blissful experiences and you don't make it you will come back and all of a sudden you'll be pushed from your heart chakra till the crown in the next birth circumstances what, what will be created what does that mean that means suppose if someone is doing sadhana okay heart ko tantric sadhana and they have pulled they have opened their chakras with the guru and whatever how karma works and they leave their body or die or you know everyone has an expiry date so mera date khatam ho gaya next birth i will be pushed by mother nature pulled into circumstances so that my journey starts from here till here again and this journey again how i lead is again that awareness okay yeah uh do you want to kind of explain the journey from the root chakra till at least the third eye in a very general way i know you in can't go into the way. details uh, i'm putting it in very simple language okay? okay there are thousands of nadis which yeah. are operating 108 are very important out of which three are the most important ada pingla and shushumna you know have you seen human dna or is a strand yeah. that is ada pingla and shushumna and it goes like this that is the reason every yoga teacher every saint every rishi will say one thing keep your spine straight mm. the more the spine is straight the more magic is happening why because spine is awareness and the more the spine is straight the more sadhana you do you start activating ida pingla so every you might be doing kriya yoga you might be doing any any sadhana from yoga asana with that understanding to purify the nadis and when ida pingla goes like this in between is the most important nadi knows has shushumna now people talk about shushumna very casually but they don't realize even in shushumna there are three nadis chaitra nadi or brahm whatever in that if that prana goes to that is where magic happens these great yogis have not read anything the only experiential beings who have have access to different dimensions they have gone through different planets like um, there are great saints who are just looking at the moon like aryabhatta and all the great they're just looking they got information how because they had access to that consciousness which we are lacking and that is happening on an internal journey they don't talk about it because the parampara is so strong it should go from guru to shishya and when you talk about it of course it's your ego and any ego is a downfall so if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this it's the rs clips Thank you.